Hi, and in this lesson, what you're going to learn about is dependencies in Terraform. We're going to need to get an AMI ID before we start because we're going to be spinning up an EC2 instance. Quick word of warning, each AMI is going to be different per region. In this case, I'm working in London and my region is set to EU West 2. If you're working in a different region and try to use the same AMI I'm using, it won't work. So I'm going to show you now how we get the ID. So let's start. In our AWS Management Console, type in EC2. Then click on Launch Instance. What we want to do now is pick an AMI. I'm going to use the one at the top and I'm going to copy the ID. One of the key things to look for here is the three tier eligible. And once you've copied the ID, you're ready to get started. So what we're going to do is go back over to VS Code and create a new folder. I'm going to call this DEP, which is short for dependency. Inside, I'm going to create a new file. This is going to be main.tf. I'm going to paste in the AMI so I don't lose it. What we're going to start with is our provider, AWS, and I'm going to set the region. In my case, it's London, so region is going to be equal to EU West 2. Next, what you're going to do is create an EC2 instance. So, to do that, it's resource type AWS underscore instance and the name. I'm going to call this my EC2. Now, there's two required parameters one is AMI, and I'm going to copy this from the top. What we'll do now, I'm going to quickly format this. Excellent. And the next one is instance type. In case you're wondering how I know these, it's available in the Terraform documentation, which I'll include a link to. And we're going to set that equal to t2.micro. t2.micro is part of the free tier. Next, what I'm going to do is add a name. So we're going to set up tags equal to, and we're going to set name equal to, and we'll call this web server. Next, what we want to imagine is we have a dependency. So what we're going to do is copy the code and we're going to create a DB server. Now let's imagine this. We want our DB server to come up first before our web server starts. So let's go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to add DB to the end and we're going to change this to DB server. Now, because we want the DB server to come up first, what we can use is a function called depends on. Now it's a list, so it can take multiple instances. The one we're interested in is AWS underscore instance dot dot DB. And we're going to have to get rid of the string interpolation. It won't break, but it will return some sort of errors about it being depreciated. Now, a lot of the time if you're creating complex infrastructure. Terraform is very smart and it will work a lot of things out for you, such as the order things should be created in. So if you were creating a VPC from scratch and with an EC2 instance, it's going to work out the ordering automatically for you. But in certain cases, there are times when you want to explicitly set a dependency. And this is quite an interesting example. So in this case, we want the DB server up before the web server starts. Now let's go ahead and run it. So go to our integrated terminal, go to view, integrated terminal, and let's cd into dependencies or dep. Run Terraform in it. Awesome, and now let's run Terraform plan. As I mentioned before, with the string interpolation, you sometimes might get a message like this. Now it's not going to break and it still will run, but in 0.12 syntax, even the quotes go. So now let's run that again and make sure that warning disappears. Awesome. Now let's run Terraform Apply. Enter yes. And as we can see already, it's creating the DB first. Now the DB's up, it's now going to start on the web server. There we go. That's how we add dependencies in Terraform. Now let's go ahead and tear it down. So we'll run Terraform Destroy and enter yes. Awesome, that's completed and that now wraps up this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you want to learn Terraform in depth with hands-on challenges and even get certified, make sure to go to warp-9.com.